Hello everyone, Mark Luck, Back Close Bot, Autumn, Reginald Esquire, the fourth here, and the purpose of this video is to decide whether the Mislock Sanctuary passkey is worth it. This passkey is one of the many different VIP lounge passkeys. What it does is it teleports you to another town, but is that town worth spending gems for? This key comes in two different versions. There is the version that works for a limited amount of time and the permanent passkey which as you can see at the moment of recording this is in the store and it is on a rotation. So if you find this video in the future and it is not in the store at that time, it will appear back. It uh, reappears periodically. There is no set schedule or if there is a set schedule for it, only ArenaNet knows what it is. But every few weeks or months, it does pop back up. Now, the VIP pass keys, for those of you who have never had any of them, look similar to this invitation to Lily of the Elon. You just double click that and it teleports you to Lily of the Elon, no matter where you were in the game. Most of the VIP towns will have a area that has all the conveniences of a city jam packed into a teeny tiny little area. Here's all the crafting stations for every possible craft, except scribing. And uh, just packed into one space. Now, the Mislock pass key is a little different from many other pass keys. Here is my Mislock Sanctuary pass key. You'll notice it says it gives you quick travel to all cities uh, Fractal of the Mist, Entrance, Crafting Stations, Banking Guild, Bank Access, Mystic Forge, Merchants, and more. So, we're going to double click this and teleport to Mislock Sanctuary, and here we are. Now, for those of you that haven't seen it, Mislock's actually a very pretty place. It's actually in space, and the rules are a little bit different here. When you hold down the space bar to jump, you can get on your glider and basically fly while you're here. The space is high above Tyria, and if we go to the world map, we actually have to go down a level to see this, the world itself. We are actually in orbit or something way above this area here. Now, what can we do in Mislock Sanctuary besides fly? You have a special action key you can use to teleport. This is a special action key very similar to what is in uh, Fractal Level 100, if you've ever done that before. While here in the central area, you've got all the crafting stations except scribing, bank, guild, bank, trading post, all over there. If we stand on the central platform, you can teleport to any major city or the raid room in the aerodrome without paying any fee. There is a bartender over here that has some fun drinks that just turn you into different various things. Uh, over there is the entrance to the fractal room, so that once you enter through that portal, it is the same as if you had gone through the one in Lion's Arch. Mystic Forge, and here are all the merchants that are inside the fractal room, but you don't have to go through a loading screen to be able to access them. They are all right here. Now let me show you my favorite part about Mistlock Sanctuary. Mistlock Sanctuary Pass if you double click it again, it puts you back to where you were when you teleported there in the first place. This can be very profitable, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to put it up here in one of my shared account slots, so all characters on my account can use this. I'm going to log on to one of my other tunes. Let's say I had need of my scribe. This character here is a guardian I never play, and it is a scribe, and it is my scribe and chef. I'm going to log into this character, and you'll notice I've got him parked at a giant treasure chest. Every day, once per day, I log into this tune and open this chest to get about a gold's worth of materials. I have almost all of the characters I'm not actively playing parked at other similar locations. But what if I need him to make me something with his professions? Well, I can simply use the Mislock pass key and teleport him to town. Here we are in Mislock. I could go over to the cooking station, make whatever I need. I could run over here to the bank, put the item I just cooked into the bank for my other character to take, then click the Mislock pass again which puts me right back where I park that character without having to run back. By having the freedom to teleport any character on your account to town and back where they left off, you can park all characters you're not currently using at high profit treasure chests around the world, such as the chests at the end of jumping puzzles or ones in Biora on the mountains like the one I just showed you and many other locations. Additionally, if you're in the middle of questing, you can teleport to town using the pass, do whatever you need to get done, maybe clear your inventory, sell some stuff, do some salvaging, and then teleport back to where you were and pick right back up where you left off. Very convenient. Now, 
The ability of the Mislock Sanctuary passkey to teleport you back to where you left off, there are only two VIP towns in the game that have that function, according to the wiki. There is Mislock Sanctuary and Armistice Bastion, which is the town that is the, in the World v. World area. Those are the two pass keys that can teleport you back to where you were, which is very, very profitable with alts parking them at those locations earlier mentioned. If you've got any other VIP pass keys, such as Lily of the Elon, they are still great, very convenient all-in-one locations, but then you have to run or walk back to where you were before to pick back up with whatever you were doing. It's just a one-way trip. So in my opinion, if you've got the Mislock Sanctuary Pass key, especially if you've got a bunch of characters you're not doing a whole lot with, very, very much worth it. Uh, 1,000 gems if it's not on sale and it's only available at certain times. In my opinion, it is the best VIP town in the game, second best being Armistice Bastion, just because I do fractals more often than I do World v. World. But it does unlock a lot of quality of life and totally worth it to me. Might not be to you, but hopefully now you have enough information to decide for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm, comment if you have any questions for me or additional input, and subscribe if you would like to see more content. A special thank you to my newest Patreon supporters who help make this content possible, and if you are interested in becoming one and getting earlier access and extra benefits, there is a link in the description. My in-game name is muckluck.9082 if you need to reach me there, or talk to me live any evening on Twitch after 9pm Eastern Standard Time, with extra streams on Wednesdays and Fridays at 1pm. Eastern Standard Time. We also have a new feature, a calendar with a list of all upcoming giveaways, streams, special events, and video releases for your convenience in the description, as well as an invitation to the Boom Zoom Discord down in the description, which is a wonderful community of people, many of which are very knowledgeable about Guild Wars 2 if you have any questions for us. That's it for today. Happy shopping!